What's up, losers? Katie. Wait, hold on a second. I still can't call you guys losers. I beat this game 100% in less than two weeks. My bad. Speaking of 100%, I know a lot of people are looking to achieve the very challenging feat of maxing out every social link in one playthrough so that they can get their hands on the elusive Orpheus Telos. I applaud you. Go for it. But you need to know that this isn't child's play like it was in Persona 5. So if you're one of those people going for it, I got some tips for you to help you accomplish this smoothly. Before we start, I'm going to assume that your social stats are maxed or nearly maxed. This is not for people attempting it in their first playthrough. Powerpix has a guide for you if that's how you want to play the game. But this game is brand new, so I'd rather not play that way. Having your social stats maxed will allow you to start social links with strict requirements early so that you can max them out early. Now for everyone that's ready to max these social links, I need you to lock in. Let's go. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! The first piece of advice that I have for you, if you want to max out every social link in one playthrough, is to prioritize the right social links. There's two groups of people that you want to focus on early in the game. People that have social links locked behind them, and the people at school. For those unaware, one unique thing about Persona 3 is that some social links require you to spend time with other ones in order to unlock them. So if you decide to neglect someone because you don't like them, you could end up missing out on your favorite link. The social links locked behind others are Mutsatsu, locked behind Yuka. Yuko, locked behind Kazushi, Akinari, locked behind Maiko, and the Gourmet King, locked behind Kenji. Ew, Kenji, yeah I know. In my opinion, you want to focus on the people at your school first since you're in spring. Once you're in summer, you won't be able to hang out with them until the break is over. So focusing on Kenji and Kazushi at the start so you can unlock Yuko and the Gourmet King is a good way to start. Then focus on Yuko to get Musatsu. Then when there's no school, you can focus on Maiko to get Akinari. It's highly recommended that you go this route otherwise you risk failure. This next piece of advice is obvious, but make sure you have the right personas with you. This is to make sure that you don't end up going back and forth between the Velvet Room over and over again trying to grab the right personas. If you're doing a max social link run, you need to know which personas you should have right off the bat for the sake of speed. The extra points will also help you so that you don't end up wasting a day trying to get extra points to rank up. In my opinion, the personas that you'll want to grab the moment you're able to grab them should belong to the Magician. Chariot, Strength, Tower, Moon, Emperor, Devil, Hermit, Hanged Man, Temperance, Fortune, and Justice Arcana, as these will probably be your first focus. And we all know the matching Arcana gives extra points which will save you time as long as you give the right answers during rank up events. Once you've gotten access to all of the locked social links, start focusing on the people at school that you can't see every day. If you don't, you might end up cutting it a bit close. I only know this because I made this mistake. I had everyone at school except Emperor Max, so I was just hoping and praying that I still had enough time to max a student count social link along with Igis. Lucky me, I was able to finish with 4 days to spare. If I do this again, best believe I'm getting Emperor, Justice, and Strength out of the way first since you can't see them every single day. Things should be much smoother sailing for you once you get them out of the way. And again, focus on the people at your school in the springtime since you can't hang out with them in the summertime. Do not hang out with people who aren't going to rank up. I can't tell you how many people made this mistake thinking it wouldn't come back to bite them later. The only time that doing something like this is okay is when that person is the only person that you can hang out with that day, which can happen depending on who we're talking about. But there's much better ways to get points with them without wasting time. You can draw a fortune at the shrine if there's nothing else to do that day, you could wait for them to ask you to hang out on Sunday, or hope that you run into them while walking Koromaru. Just don't hang out with them if they're not going to rank up unless that's the only option available. Actually, there is one other way that you can get points without hanging out with them. Buy dating profiles. This is something I do just to be safe, but did you know that starting November 15th you can purchase links to a dating website from the Shady Guy and Club Escapade? The best part about this is that this is the only thing that you can buy from him in unlimited amount of time. So when it's night at the dorm or there's nothing else to do in the daytime, you can run this software to get a couple more points for your desired social link while they're not available. Trust me, these are much better methods than just hanging out with the person because of how much time you'll save. So now now let's recap. Prioritize people with locked social links first like Kenji, Kazushi, Yuko, and Maiko. Make sure you have the right personas with you so you can save time and get some extra points. Make sure you prioritize the people at school that aren't available every day so that it's easier on you later. Do not hang out with people who won't rank up because it's a waste of a time slot and buy dating profiles to get extra points without hanging out with the person. 
Another piece of advice that I almost failed to mention is that you should be making the most of the rewind function. I know some of you aren't going to use guides when it comes to optimizing your time with the social links, so if you're going to do that and you end up not getting the most amount of points possible during a social link, you may want to use the rewind button to attempt that interaction again to see if you can get even more points out of the person. Or maybe you just said the wrong thing by accident. It's not over. You don't have to reload a save or anything. Just use the rewind function and you should be good to go again. And that's all the advice that I have for maxing out all social links in just one run. If you need proof that this works, all you have to do is check out my 100% social link playthrough in the live section of my channel. You should have no problem maxing out all of the social links and unlocking Orpheus Telos now. Yes sir, we've done it. That's all of them. Oh God, we we did it. Finally. All right. Well, we know what time it is now. I thought my game just crashed. I was about to. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Oh dang, Pinstripe, you were you were here to see it? Well uh make sure you don't uh leave yet because you already know what time it is. Alright. It seems that you've discovered every social link and formed strong bonds with them all. For you to have possessed this many bonds, you must have donned numerous faces. With such an extraordinary propensity for change, perhaps you may be able to harness a greater power. The power of infinity. Take this with you. I do believe you are now capable of summoning a particular persona. But what persona shall be born of your bonds? I look forward to seeing it myself. Let's go. How may I assist you? It's time. We're not wasting any time. We're gonna get right to it. I'll make a better one later. Right now, I just want to make this need? thing. Is this acceptable? There he is. 